figured today we would do a video on how the cows get milk on our farm and we'll kind of show you how uh, how we do that and we'll get into pretty good detail of how the machine goes about it. But first thing you should know we milk with uh, Laley robots so robotic milkers and pretty much what that entails is we have four boxes like this and while the cow is in that box um, she's getting milk and pretty much cows roam freely and they choose when they want to go into this box and as you can see they're actually standing in line to be milked every cow wears a collar and there, I don't know if you can see it there around her neck that's how the robot recognizes which animal is in there and then based off of that it knows what to do for that specific animal this is the ID reader so that's what actually reads the cow and while she's in there she actually gets feed so she So while she's getting milk, she's getting feed. Um, and that feed is based on her milk production. Um, so the more milk that cow milks, the more feed she gets in there. Pretty much every cow is allowed to come in here uh, a max of five times and a minimum of two times. If they come less than 12 hours a day, they end up on a fetch list and we'll go around and gather them up. Um, but so this cow right here is done right now. And we'll show you what it looks like from the outside, them walking out and the next cow walking in. So the front door will open and the feed trough swings out of the way. And then that cow that just got milked will exit. And then the entry gate opens and the next cow will walk in. And depending how long it's been since that cow's milk, she'll either get the machine will milk her or it will let her back out and that's what's called a refusal. Some cows want to come back too soon so I told you the max is five times so if they come back within a oh, little, little under five hours uh, it lets them back out because it's not worth our trouble to start milking her yet. So for the most part the cows decide when they get milked. The first thing the robot does when the cow comes in um, the arm will move underneath and it will swing these brushes out and these brushes uh, get sanitized and clean and it will go underneath the cow and it will clean the teeth off in addition to cleaning the teeth it ends up uh, stimulating the the udder of the cow which ends up releasing oxytocin now that brush is all based on memory so it's a pretty broad brush no pun intended and it kind of goes on memory of where the teeth were last time that cow was milked one problem with milking cows is versus spot welding on a car or putting a cap on a on a bottle in a factory uh, every cow we got is different size wise length wise otherwise teeth wise um, so pretty much the robot remembers for each cow what her coordinates look like and the way that works is up top here there's a 3d camera right there and that 3d camera takes the image of the back of the cow and it pretty much sets a zero point for her coordinate system so as that cow moves her whole coordinate system moves with her so to speak Lengthwise with the cow is the y-axis um, in, in and out from the machine this way is the x-axis and then up and down is the z-axis So then for every cow it knows which it has an x y and z coordinate And so it knows where to go for that specific cow after the brushing it will hook up the uh, cup and to do that it will Pretty much center the cup underneath the um, teeth, 
so it knows roughly where it is from the 3D camera and the coordinates and then it uses the laser to fine tune um, to fine tune where to find that teeth. And as it finds the teeth it will position that gut underneath it there and it will simultaneously open up the vacuum valve for that specific quarter as well as release the cord that holds that cup up. You saw it miss one hookup. There's a microphone in the line, and if it hears too much air movement for too long, it knows it's not hooked up, and it will re-attempt re to hook up. It has a sensor that senses for milk flow, and if it doesn't see milk flow within a certain amount of time, it knows that seed isn't hooked up proper, and it will re-attempt. Um, as the milk stump leaves the cow, goes into the cup, runs into those hoses, and then it comes underneath the here and these sensors uh, is where the milk passes through and those sensors actually look at uh, milk flow speed and that's how it knows when to take the cups off and it looks at the color of the milk and if there's any abnormalities it will throw a flag as well as it looks at the milk temperature it looks at conductivity which is pretty much the salt content of the milk um, if the cow has an inflammation to her udder, or also known as mastitis, the udder swells up and causes cells and it causes cells to break. And uh, when those cells break, those cells have a higher salt content within them. And so if they break open, the salt content goes up, which increases the conductivity of the milk. And that's a measurement of mastitis. So it monitors all four quarters for that. And then as that cow milks, the milk goes in this jar. And this jar is on a weigh bar. Before it pumps the milk away, it weighs how much milk is in there. And it records the milk yield. And so then we have a rolling average for every cow in the herd of what their production is. And then based off of that production, they get more or less feed. Once all the cups come off, it will put on a post bit. And then after every cow, the arm will go to the end here and it will clean them cups, rinse them cups between, uh, between cows to uh, prevent from any cross contamination. And then the next one's ready to come in. And then once it's done with the previous cow, it will take that milk in the jar and it will pump it to the bulk tank to where it gets stored until the milk hauler picks it up. So that pumps that all the way up front. I think that's almost, that's pumping like 300 foot, which is about the maximum. And then there's a bunch of cleaning detergents in this central unit here. And so three times a day, the whole system will wash uh, every eight hours. And that way keep all the equipment clean. And then twice a day we go through and clean these robots off, hose them off, and make sure everything's working the way it should.
bleed hole. There's a bleed hole that allows the air into the milk line. Uh, that allows the milk to be transported away from the cow. So it's pretty important that those are open. Man, one other thing I forgot to mention. When the cows are in the robot, they're on a scale. So they actually get weighed at every milking. Uh, but while we're cleaning, we gotta make sure we get all the manure out from underneath of there. Else after, over time, it will build up and the scale will get off. That, and then we gotta make sure this is the laser that looks for the teeth. So we gotta make sure that it's nice and clean. And then in the afternoons, we actually use some Dawn dish soap and a brush to scrub down the arm pretty good. And make sure we get rid of any biofilms that are built up on there. Sorry about that. That should be good for another 12 hours, so um, we'll uh, let this next girl in before she runs out of patience.